beautifuls. I am here with Pythagoras Blue Arc, my dear brother. It's been so magical being able to chat and just be in each other's world. I've been learning a lot and it's been really transformative. So I'm excited for you guys to hear more about his perspectives and his wisdom. He is a meditation instructor, a quantum coach and quantum healer. So thank you for hanging out with me, Pythagoras. <laughs> Likewise, it's such an honor. So today we're going to really just be tuning into the heart portal and our higher self. So before we do all of that, before we chat, before we do anything at all, I just want to open us up and bring us into this heart space first and foremost, because I feel that really just being in this place, you're going to learn so much more about yourself and the power of our heart portal. And yeah, it's just really profound. Like words can't really describe this feeling. So if you would like, I'd invite you to just tune in with me, whether that means closing your eyes or just aligning your spine, getting comfortable, or even just placing your hands on your heart and just taking a couple conscious breaths into your belly. Maybe even placing one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, your womb. And just intending to bring that breath deeper down into the lower belly, allowing the body to be a part of this experience, allowing yourself to just ground in feeling the shift in pace in your heart and just listening to the heartbeat within you. Just as you breathe here, connecting with your heart, where you're at right now, allow yourself to just be the observer here of what you're feeling, of what is arising by maybe even just simply touching your skin or not touching your skin. And in this space, we just ask that our higher selves be here with us, that our guides, our ancestors and beings of light of the highest and purest light with the intention of unconditional love for all beings with no exceptions, to be here and guide and witness with us, to hold us in this space And we call upon the land that we are on, Mother Earth, Mama Gaia, Pachamama, to reconnect with her, to assist us in grounding, in being present, in tuning in to our connection with nature, the four elements. Allowing ourselves to feel the water, the fire, the air, the earth within and without. And even if you would like calling upon your angels to just create a beautiful light grid of strength and protection and love around your entire being. Breathing deeply as you call that in. Feel their presence and just simply arrive. And Pythagoras, if you'd like to add anything, feel free. Let's take a deep, deep breath into the heart. I want to invite everyone to focus in your heart and imagine your heart as a flower. Imagine this flower blossoming, opening up on color completely. Sacred space, 
creating a sacred space. A sacred space has been created. Only high vibrational light beings can be here. Any other energies can leave now. Beautiful, beautiful emerald green color of this chakra. Beautiful pink tip. Emanating and opening up. So, so full of joy and love and openness. So much wisdom comes from this heart center. Yet every day we're finding new things, new new feelings, new emotions, more openness from the heart. Such a such a beautiful discovery that all of us are taking in into the heart center. Welcome everyone that is watching. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> I'm like on cloud nine now. I hope everyone else is feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> mm, oh my gosh. So where do we start? Where do we start? I just want to invite everyone that's watching just to take note before we start just speaking um, mm -hmm. of just what you are feeling, what that feels like in the rest of your body. If you felt any type of resistance um, being in that space of your heart, just allow that, allow that to be a space of awareness to where, you know, this awareness creates choice. So from here on out, <laughs> um, it's up to you whether or not you want to really tune into any type of resistance or just any type of feeling of peace or bliss, whatever it was that you were feeling. And you can even let us know in the comments below as well what was kind of coming up for you and let us support you and just just see that connection that we all have here <laughs> yeah the the heart center is such a powerful and such a new discovery that collectively we are entering into you know and it's always a place to make good decisions um when it comes to the heart it's such a beautiful place because the heart really is uh it unifies the higher the higher wisdom the higher chakras with the lower ones that's where they meet and they they collide into this this unification this vortex of energy and that's when the biggest the biggest uh, manifestations really come from from the heart center you know, when we're motivated into manifesting things from the heart center, things align, you know, mm -hmm. because it's such a powerful, powerful tool, you know, yet, yet um, collectively humanity is opening up more and more, you know, in whoever that is watching and is just now learning how to open the heart center just know that there is no rush. I I feel like when it comes to the heart chakra, it takes time, you know? It really does take time. Yeah. There's no really right or wrong time. It, it happens naturally, you know? I mean, I feel like, I mean, or what do you think, Arya? I feel like we can do a lot of um, preparation and tools. We can use a lot of tools to, um, knowing more about the heart and opening that heart chakra but i also do believe that it opens naturally you know mm -hmm. i mean intention is definitely something that yeah plays a big role you know what is your experience with um with the heart center excited yeah. to yeah so 
For me, it's definitely been, I want to kind of agree that it does take that time because I feel like everything, as you know, it's like everything's intertwined and the heart space, this heart portal is just, you know, it's it's larger than life. It's larger than, it, it really takes up so much of our aura. And um, a lot of the time, like you said, like humanity, we just don't think about it. <laughs> it's been so like pushed down for so long that we don't like, oh yeah, like follow your heart's desire and all of these different mm. things is great and wonderful but we lose track of the actual power of our heart and how it can actually be felt by people that we're around um and people yes. that we're connected with like it's that big mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're in a space you're feeling you're feeling the hearts so you're not only you know tuning into the thoughts but you're feeling the hearts of so many different people and a lot of the time when we're in, in this space where it's like it's all about for me it was all about safety you know we're in when we're in this space of just not feeling safe that's when you know the heart is it shrinks you know that that space that electromagnetic field is not as strong you feel more weak and for me definitely um throughout my journey and just like where i am now it's just so apparent <laughs> now that the heart portal has literally just been that light shield it's been that protection it's been that opening up of being receptive and being able to take action like it really is almost like we think of the root chakra as like the foundation which is true but the heart really holds everything when you allow it to be as open as as you know it's meant to and i do agree it takes like it takes it takes repetition it takes dedication it takes devotion to allow yourself to heal that area because a lot of us a lot of us is just so natural to have so many like traumas and so much pain there on so many different energetic levels like all of it <laughs> the physical the energetic and the emotional like it's all piled here and what i've been noticing especially with the heart is like that that connection to our innocence as well and this purity mm -hmm. and that's or like the dreamer in us that really allows us to just be a kid again that's that like sacred heart and it can be felt anywhere <laughs> it's not even just like your physical heart like this whole there's so many chakras within just this space you know um so many energetic vortexes just so much here and we're just taught like not to really pay attention to this space physically yes. as well you know or it's just seen as something like you know, like you, like for women, like you can't grab your boobs in public or like, you know, anything that was like that. Like it's, it's, it's not known for a lot of people to just be really comfortable with this space. So that's yeah. also another energy that could really mm. just, and that's something I've noticed a lot. I was feeling like really ashamed with like holding my breasts or anything like that. And it's like, no, <laughs> that's like being ashamed of the love that you could possibly have for yourself. And it's an extension of this space. Your arms are an extension of your space. So like how you feel yes. about that as well. I've just been noticing just so much is involved and I feel like there's just yeah. so many layers. Yeah, I, I definitely feel like there's a sense of discipline when it comes to discovering all the aspects of the heart you know and you know even even i mean society is literally constructed and made to lower our frequency that's just that's just reality okay that's how it is and you know even for men too you know like you can't be you can't be um too loving because you're losing your masculinity you know mm. or you can't be so vulnerable or so open you know because that's such you a feminine act. strong yeah <laughs> yeah you want to be mm -hmm. strong you don't want to feel any emotion you're not allowed to feel emotions you're not allowed to cry you know all these things are constantly you know being uh projected in you know kids you know brainwashed you know i'm talking about the old times you know i do feel like things are changing and shifting you know but mm -hmm. um the reality is like or even for me as a guy you know growing up in society where all these all all of the things such as feeling emotions or being overly too emotional you know is, is wasn't a good thing you know mm -hmm. and i feel like growing up and really really 
embracing the heart and understanding that the heart is that connection to source, source energies, source energies constantly giving us life through the heart chakra, you know, is yeah. everything. And I, I completely, completely agree. We can feel people's heart, heart energy from like six feet apart, you know, it's like the biofield. It's like, it's all like, you know, it really is all connected. We can affect other people by just being that close to them, you know. Mm -hmm. One thing that I that that I learned throughout my own spiritual research throughout all these years is that the heart chakra is definitely that place that can heal it all. Once you really become so so in tune with it and it does take preparation because a lot of the times we do have to release a lot that's there you know yeah and i def i get a lot of questions that come from well how um how come i'm not where i want to be you know and sometimes there's a lot of things holding us back in our heart you know or even in the spiritual community you know like or even people that are just waking up they all of a sudden want big connections you know people mm -hmm. in, in 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 the in in the spiritual community and they want to have friends that validate all of that right but it does take openness in the heart to via vibrational match to people like that you know yes it, yeah it takes, it takes being vulnerable and being okay to be seen you know from your entire authentic self you know i feel like humans are not broken yet they just have to remember their divine self you know and i love when you say that your alignment is your protection that's where it's at for yeah. sure <laughs> i i that resonates with me a lot because it is true and you know it's you it's not you're not the only one person that i've heard this from a lot of a lot of spiritual teachers say the same thing abraham abraham hicks go says the same thing along the lines you know when you're in your true alignment when you're in the vortex when you're in the, that good place there you're not a vibration of match to lower things you know to fear mm -hmm such and such talking about the voice and the throat chakra yeah uh, an advice that i would give people is that communicating feelings and emotions to people that you love is letting them know where you are in life how do you feel you know and communication really plays a big role in in, in a way of expressing the heart center it really mm -hmm. does play a big role because we can love people, you know, we can love our families and and all of that and our friends. But when we keep it in here, you know, um, we're also, in a sense, robbing ourselves from expressing that. And the heart center is also about expressing that and connecting the heart center to the throat chakra and allowing those two things to unify in and communicate and it all goes on into the same thing you know about being vulnerable yeah. and being open for sure mm -hmm. yeah it's that level of compassion that you can have for yourself to be in a space that feels a little more unsafe because a lot of us it's like our nervous system just aren't ready <laughs> or it's, it hasn't caught up to the mind in a sense mm. so it's this is that place where we can really just cultivate that kind of love and compassion and just be able to when we have those moments just to express our feelings to our loved ones express our feelings to our friends anyone around us that you know we have you know specific boundaries or just how we're feeling mm. in general like that's an act of self-love for yourself but it's also an act of love towards these people so that they can know where you're at mm. <laughs> it's like not expecting people to know 
your heart you know like you're the one carrying this space this portal within you this divine connection with source with your intuition this is like your entire being so this is it's up to you to be able to express what it is that you are desiring and what it is that um is really arriving here for you and now and what's real and what you're feeling here and now and i feel like for a lot of people um it is that healing of the ideas of you know the right and wrong these rules that we have around the divine masculine and the divine feminine i feel like those brotherhood wounds those sisterhood wounds those mother and father wounds like a lot of that really just keeps us <laughs> from allowing ourselves our hearts to open and be compassionate towards very specific people based on experiences that we had with very specific people mm -hmm. and whether it be a man or a woman we have these preconceptions and yeah. that i feel like within the heart is just a huge thing that's going on right now to be able to really create that type of community we can't ignore these assumptions that we're like making up in our head or that we're feeling being projected upon us um, from other people because mm -hmm. like I've heard this where um, I have a friend he makes jewelry and he's like yeah I just feel like people you know women don't really want to buy from a man that's making jewelry so he like hides his face but I was gonna tell him we'll see if he watches this but <laughs> what I was really just really just thinking about and just like meditating on I'm like well we want to change that we're not just gonna let it stay the same like it's really bringing that into people's awareness and allowing them to make that choice for themselves you know and just knowing that that is you being honest and open and um mm -hmm. about what it is that's really going on is going to attract exactly the people that are meant to be around you and Absolutely. I feel like yeah, like that's a that's a big thing that communication from that place is literally what's going to allow you to be it is. magnetic. Yeah, it definitely I, I agree 100% and it takes it all goes back into the foundation of being open and vulnerable in practicing, you know, because the thing the thing is like, I, I, I feel like you teach other people how to be loved in a way, you know, communicating in, in, in a way, you know, like, mm -hmm. you know, later on, we're going to talk about boundaries and all of that, but communicating, you know, and expressing that, you know, and can also take you out of like places where you're only just seeing one possibility, you know, for sure, you know, so it really is all about being open, but I understand a lot of people that, they come from a lot of places where, you know, when you are in a place where the walls that you have built, you know, around you to protect you, you know, because a lot of people grew up in environments where uh, their parents were really constantly given a sense of unsafety or uncertainty in a lot of movement, you know, in there we go into a place, the inner child goes into a place where now I gotta close myself, have all these walls. But if we walk around the world with all these walls, how are people gonna know us? How are they gonna understand us? How are they gonna feel our hearts? How mm -hmm. are they truly gonna see who we are? You know? Mm -hmm. And circumstances of the environment in in the childhood, uh, childhood trauma and all of that, you know, creates such a division, you know, but now is the time, you know, now is the time to practice and show gratitude, you know, and even if it takes us, even if it makes us feel uncomfortable, you know, yeah. makes you a little feel uncomfortable, then that is, that's the time and moment to practice you know, a high vibrational um, tool, which is like being more open, communicating things, you know. Um, mm -hmm. And listening, listening to that space. Mm, yes. Love is the universal truth. You know, we're in this reality, it, being part of this project of, you know, when Source went into, um, 
creating all of the extensions of us, you know, in all these all these different perspectives and the illusion and all of that. But um love is always gonna be the answer, you know. And I know for some people that might sound cocky or whatever, but I in through through my spiritual research I learned that even in your lowest times of fear, lo love is always gonna be the answer. Love is always going to be, and, you know, in love and being open into your heart, that can also be, that can also look as practicing self-love, you know, having unconditional love to yourself, you know, mm -hmm. um, showing compassion to other people, you know, and, and, and knowing that our heart is so, so powerful, yet we're all going to be discovering new things you know constantly yeah yeah this this the space of our heart it's it's so much more powerful and this kind of piggybacks off of something that you said earlier that I finally remembered as well mm -hmm. but this space just really being a space of transmutation like we have all of this alchemical power within us and the heart has that capacity um if you allow it, you know, to actually, you can bring things into the space and literally breathe them out. <laughs> That's that, oh, yeah. that power of love that you're speaking about. It's mm -hmm. that, that alchemical, that transmutation that really just happens um, when you bring something out of this, this, the light of fear and into the light of love to where it's natural, to where energy can flow naturally all over again. Mm -hmm. And these safe spaces that we create, like I really suggest if anyone's going through a lot or they feel really unsafe, like allow yourself to be held. <laughs> I can't stress this enough, but allow yourself to be held. We do so much holding for ourselves. It's so important to allow yourself those spaces to be held and to be seen and witnessed by a professional, by someone that can really assist in you know, helping your body, your nervous system, your heart, just remember the safety of that you've always had. Cause I mean, we go through so much. It's like, you forget <laughs> and it's like, okay, get uncomfortable, mm -hmm. expand your, you know, your comfort zone. But if you're in a place where it's like, dang, like I need help, you know, like allow yourself to be held. I think it's important for everyone, even just yeah. any healers, any coaches, anyone at all, just doing any, any kind of holding of space, even if it's just for yourself, like allow yourself to be held um, yeah, no, is absolutely. the big thing. Yeah, holding holding space definitely plays a big role into relationships between friends and family and everyone, you know. Um, you know, when I, when I think about holding space for others, it's just being there present with them, you know. We don't have to fix our lives. We don't have to tell them, well, you got to do this, you got to do it. No, it, it comes more from a place like we're here, I see you, you know, like mm -hmm. I'm here with you. And again, it takes a practice of being open, even just putting yourself to, you know, to be like, I want to be helped, you know, like we yeah. have to do that too, you know. So it's like, it's, it's two ways for sure. The heart chakra, I mean, even the word, the Sanskrit word, uh, means unbreakable you know our hearts don't break it is the mind that is focusing on something that that is in the heart you know maybe you know maybe something happened or whatever then we carry that energy in our heart but the hearts don't break they're unbreakable it's like such pure pure life energy you know but then we have the heart and then the mind, you know, the mind is always trying to uh, try to understand what's going on. It's safe to feel those feelings of grief or feeling, you know, sadness within this space. And just like the more that, like you said, the more that we can be open to just really bring those feelings into this space and just intentionally let it out from this space. <laughs> it's very, it's very powerful. And I invite you to try it if you're someone that's going through a lot of change within your life or you're still feeling any type of grief or anything at all that has to do with your heart just practice just 
place in your hands and your heart and breathing and feeling through it. Cause the more that we ignore the heavier it's going to be. Oh okay, yeah. This energy is just going to get, it's going to get <laughs> more condensed, right? It's going to, yes. yeah. So it's so important to just like, yeah, it's about reclaiming your power too, you know, reclaiming that heart center. Like that's your divinity. That's your place where you're, you're able to create so much beauty, you know, and, and it's also about letting go of energy, the heart that needs to go, you know, uh, in society where it's a lot of the time some scenarios happen, such as, you know, people do things to us or whatever the case might be. And then, we hold that energy, you know, we have those, those cords of negative energy in our heart to other people. And I, one thing I always advise people is that you can free yourself from that in your heart. You know, you don't have to necessarily forgive the other person. You don't have to necessarily agree with the other person, but you can forgive yourself for being in that situation. Mm-hmm. You know, like when we yeah. forgive ourselves from being in situations that that weren't good for us, then we free ourselves and then there we're ready to play again in that heart center for sure. Yeah. And we're reclaiming our power back because if we put the blame on so many other mm. people for certain things within our life, rather than taking the gifts and the lessons and the blessing and allowing ourselves to just kind of be the center of that rather than being like nah this this person did all this stuff this is why i am this way that's you giving your power away and that forgiveness like you can you can intend to forgive someone else but the more that you can forgive yourself the more that you're going to really set them free and you're going to set yourself free as well and like you said it takes it takes that practice so i'm curious if you have any um tips for people as far as like creating that discipline and this motivation to really continue utilizing and connecting with the heart portal do you have anything you know when it comes to the heart is like in the spiritual community between healers and between people like us um i definitely feel like we all have a blind spot and we're we're here to heal each other you know to to uplift each other but for everyone else that it just necessarily wants to really just work with the heart and you know start to really open that up i suggest to learn how to transmute energy you know through meditation any energy that is holding you back or is just so dense is trying to leave Mm -hmm. you know it's just being it's just going like hey like you know and then then you feel pain in here and then all of a sudden you have hot pain in your back whatever you know it's about what works for me is uh going into meditation uh feeling my my body uh releasing any energy through the to through the breath uh feeling envisioning that energy coming out and when it comes to the heart uh same thing you know it's just about letting go you know, and, and the more you let go, the more you open yourself and there's more room for bigger, better experiences in the heart, you know? So yeah. I feel like this tool is a lifetime tool, really, you know, on transmuting energy, alchemizing energy, uh, it's, it's lifetime, you know, because pretty much we're going to be using this forever, you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a part you? of us. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I agree. It's like, that's part of our power. (laughs) And we forget that we have that power, you know, like every single one of us have that power to really just this transmute this energy. And what I want to say for me in my own experience, something that I kind of touched upon was just feeling everything, (laughs) really allow yourself to feel without drowning in any judgment of like where you want to be and experiencing what you be what you want because with my experience it was always like oh I felt this really beautiful you know state of just highness on bliss and joy and peace in my heart and this openness and then I have you know that you'll have those moments where it's like I'm literally 
just transmuting. And that's when we're really allowing ourselves to feel, we allow that transmutation to occur. We allow that our ourselves to use our, our alchemical powers within. Mm. And it's as simple as feeling your stuff when it arises and allowing yourself to take that as awareness and allow that to then be a choice for you as how you want to move forward and what you want to choose. So for me, it's like, it's a daily thing that like you want to choose to be open. Okay. What does that, what does that feel like? What does that look like? How, how do you interact mm-hmm. with other people and tuning into your own values is going to make that really easy on at making those choices for yourself and creating that trust and that forgiveness for yourself in general is to start be more impeccable with your word practice, (laughs) be more intentional with the things that you do each day and just take, you know, make little baby steps that you can do each day to really just allow you to create that place where you feel safe, where you feel like you can trust this portal of your heart because it is powerful and it's completely natural. It's completely natural for it to be open. So it's like being in this space and giving yourself the time and space that you do need to cultivate that, that opening and that safety and that trust within yourself is worth it. (laughs) That's all I gotta say. It's worth it. it. It's meant for you. It's literally going to be so much, so much more magical and beautiful than you could ever imagine what you begin to attract. It's, it's pure magic and it's worth it. You're worth it. (laughs) It is absolutely. I just want to add that. Um, I mean, I did say this earlier, but the heart chakra, anyone that is watching this and maybe you want to do some balancing in any of your chakras or, and you don't necessarily know which one to work with, go into the heart and put the intention into the heart chakra to heal or balance any other chakra. And the, the, the heart chakra actually can balance the the higher chakras and the lower chakras that's one of the only ones that it can actually because it expands so big yeah it's like that that center zero point as well between like this realm and the higher realms i love that how beautiful (laughs) we have signature uh guided meditations about the heart center if any of you guys want to book a signature guided meditation about the heart or any other kind of meditation um, message us aria has beautiful beautiful meditations the way she guides meditation is so so um so real and so beautiful so if you guys are being called to do that um message us for sure you know yeah do guided meditations for sure but um thanks everyone for watching and being in here and diving into your spiritual research you know it's all about that too you know seeing all the perspectives yeah yeah thank you all so much thank you Pythagoras for all of this I hope you all give yourself a nice big hug or just like a little heart hug and you just feel that and tune into like hey I can do this and it can be fun (laughs) <laughs> let it be play let it be play and just know that we're all we're all in it with you so yeah thank you again sending so much love. yes thank you thank you for sharing this space all right bye bye